14 and 15, same kind of thing. Doing it the long way, if I were going to square it, it would mean that I'm taking 3w to the fifth y times a second, 3w to the fifth y. So I'd be taking 3 times 3, which is 9, w to the fifth times w to the fifth, I add my exponents, so w to the tenth, y times y, y squared. If I use my shortcut, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the 3 and square it, I'm going to take my w to the fifth and square it, and I'm going to take my y and square it. 3 squared, I do the normal way. 3 times 3 is 9. Now here's the new rule that we haven't had yet. When I raise something to a power, notice when I took w to the fifth times w to the fifth, I added my exponent and I got 10. Well, the shortcut here is when I raise to a power, I can just multiply those two exponents together. w to the fifth and w to the fifth, I've got two of them. I end up with w to the tenth power. And then I have a y squared, so y squared. So they're going to say that I have x to the m raised to the nth power, I get x to the m times n. I multiply those exponents as my shortcut. So number 14, if I have negative 2 uv cubed and I'm raising it to the fifth power, I'm going to do the negative 2 to the fifth power, the u to the fifth power, and then the v to the third to the fifth power. So negative 2 to the fifth power. If you're using your calculator, by the way, make sure you put the parentheses so that you don't have a sign mistake. This one will have an odd exponent, so it will end up being negative. But if it's even, it turns it to a positive. So make sure you, if you use your calculator, you use the parentheses. Negative 2 to the fifth power happens to be negative 32. Here I have u to the fifth power. And then here I have v to the third raised to the fifth power. My shortcut is that I can just multiply those exponents. 3 times 5 gives me v to the 15th. Because I do v to the third, a v to the third, v to the third, v to the third, and v to the third. Five of them would give me 15. So number 15, same kind of thing. I'm going to square this. So I'm going to take my negative 5 and square it. I'm going to take my x cubed and square it. And I'm going to take my y to the fourth and square it. So if I take my negative 5 squared, negative 5 times negative 5 makes that positive 25. Then my rule here, if I raise it to a power, I multiply those exponents. So I get x to the sixth. Raising to a power here, multiplying my exponents y to the eighth. So I get 25 x to the sixth, y to the eighth. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, same kind of thing. We're just having that fraction.